Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new day. Today is the day that I'm gonna tell you guys all about our crazy stalker girl. In the meantime, Gabby's having a day off from chores. She just woke up at the crack of noon. And no, I didn't just wake up. She just got dressed. And this is what she's wearing on the hottest day of the year. Okay, Gabby. Like, there's a problem here. I know you love that shirt, but it's the hottest day of the year. It's fine. And let's just take a minute here to appreciate this fluffy girl's hair. <laughs> And appreciate the fact that this girl can canter jumps. Amazing. If you guys saw yesterday's video about the pony camp horse show vlog, then you'll know that Sophie went from really not jumping to cantering jumps at speeds faster than a moving vehicle. Huh? Yeah. Scary, crazy, amazing. Not and scary. yeah, you are. Um, Marky doesn't even jump in. So proud of you. My upper half was all over the place because I was focusing on not refusing any jumps with Coco. That's how I fell off. Yeah, and that's what he happens. Stopped dead. He was like going so fast that he just stopped dead like that. Um, yeah, and that's what happens. I slid onto his neck, like to the side of his neck, and I was holding on. And then I could have stayed on. But then he started walking away. So sometimes when you're riding, it's not all about EQ. Sometimes you're practicing on something specific and that's all you can I'm work on. Yeah, trying to be alive. Yeah, I'm that's just true. I'm trying to work on getting my striding to jumps. Yeah, and fast. Your horse was so fast. I, think, I like him going fast. Yeah. No, he was going, they were all going faster because they were all. I don't know, but like, he looked so fast. I don't know. Is your lip bleeding or is that lipstick on that? It's not. Oh, okay. Anyway, today is scorching. It's the hottest day of the year. I say that every day, but today is supposed to be record breaking, like the hottest day ever. Uh, we are managing our horses. We're gonna keep them all in the arena. Some people in our area, when it's this hot, they keep their horses in the barn. Um, we find it better to keep them in the arena because um, it's a bigger space. They can move around. They have air flow through, air flow through two doors. It's not as bad. Oh, so oh, I thought she was gonna roll. Oh, it's not as bad. Like they have more space, and so that's what we're gonna do when we come home tonight and it cools down. We're gonna release them, set them free. Good morning. Sam's having breakfast because it was his day for chores, yeah, and well, tomorrow well. he gets to stay sleep in. Yeah, he did. Nothing for chores tomorrow. Yeah. I know. I'm so proud of you. This is not the Sam that I have known for 20 years, you guys. Like this is a whole new Sam you're seeing. Energetic. Thin, sexy Sam, having his eggs and toast. Eggs and toast water. So proud of you. You guys might remember, but when I first told Sam that we needed to lose weight, he's like, I'm not doing that. And he disagreed with me and he fought me every step of the way. And then suddenly he started losing weight and started feeling better. And now he's just rolling with it. He's amazing. But anyway, today is the day I'm gonna share our crazy stalker story with you guys because it has reached a fever pitch and she's yeah, starting to really reach out to a lot of our subscribers and I noticed them dealing with her in, and in on her. Instagram and we know her in real life too. yeah she's a local girl she's 24 years old 24 years old is she yeah it's from our old barn started the day we moved to our barn and i'm gonna get to the details in a little bit but i want to share it with you guys so that one you guys know that if somebody's stalking you and somebody is a bully to you do not keep their secret you got to tell people let people know do not let them make you feel like you're the bad person do not do that just tell somebody tell somebody just keep telling people until you get help and secondly um i feel really bad that you guys are dealing with this and defending us against this woman i want you guys to know that she does have emotional problems she's not very well um she's not well obviously and that um she is incredibly smart but she has emotional issues and i want to i want to share our story so if any of you guys are going through the same thing, you might have an idea of how to handle it. We are feeding lunch. It's early though. And then headed to the beach. Today is a beach day. Sam and Sophie did chores this morning and they look good. It looks good. 
Anyway, today's a beach day. Tomorrow is a tack haul day. We're going to head out to the tack store. Um, so we're doing this today. I know a lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people don't like it. I'm going to show it to you because that's what I do. I show you all the things that we do that you might not love. Um, basically, we are going to make two areas in the barn. So if Storm will go in the back there. The rest will go in the front here and they can go in and out. And the reason that we do it is because that area back there is bigger than a stall. So instead of keeping our horses inside in a stall all day while it's excruciatingly hot, we let them have this area. They can, the girls and, and Finn can go outside if they want and uh, they don't though. They just stay in. They're, they're smart. They know. But anyway, that's what we do. Instead of keeping them in where it's excruciating, we keep them in the, the arena where it's a lot cooler. Hi, baby girls. Man, she's such a big whore. Yeah, you have a cut on your nose. Does she have a cut on her nose? Yeah. And this one has bites on her back. Why are you acting all crazy? Remember? Well, I realized that there's a cut. Oh, goodness. How did you get that? She missed her rolled. Oh, it's hot already. Boys are just coming in. You gotta go get your boy. Go get your boy. We have it now to the point where Finn and Storm are good together, pretty good together. And Finn and the girls are good together. So we have like the best of both worlds at this point, And I love it. But anyway, back to our stalker story. Boys want to come in. I don't know if you can see them down there. They know what's happening. We put them out there to eat grass when it's like cooler in the early morning. And then we bring them in before the heat gets too bad. Anyway, back to our stalker story. Some of you guys might remember when we first moved to our old barn. When we first moved to this barn, the day after we moved to the barn, I woke up in the morning to like 50 comments from this girl. She said that she was from our barn. She said she was 13 and she said she was excited. And then she blasted the name of our barn in so many comments, like 50 times on the comments she blasted it. So I thought she was 13. I banned her from her channel just until I explained to her that we don't want to share the name of our barn. Um, and I thought that that would be the end of it. But it turns out that she's not 13. She was 23 at the time. She's 24 now. And she hates us. I think a lot of it comes from jealousy in person. Um, she was always kind to us, really supportive, really outgoing, really friendly. Um, and then she'd post on our videos really horrific horrible lies so uh, what ended up making it way worse than it was when it first started was that she made up this big lie about gabby she said a lie about gabby and kaylee actually and um she said that she went up to them that they went up to her and made fun of her and said that she had poor pants poor riding pants on and i explained when she said that that one Gabby and Kaylee are so shy, so would never even go up to an adult. They don't go up to adults and talk to them ever, like not even one single time, even now. And, but when we first went there, they were just really shy and just really, and I was with them the whole entire time. And I said, you know, Gabby's only 11 and she's homeschooled and she doesn't even understand that stuff yet. And I said, also, I dress my kids. Like I, at that point, I was still picking out Gabby's clothes every day. Like having rich pants was not a thing on their radar um so anyways people believed us instead of her and then she's made it her job since then to uh, try and convince people that gabby's really 15 or 16. hey stella bella Oh, you got the flies. You got the flies. You want to put your fly mask on? Hey, eh? flies are getting bad here now with the heat. She said no. No fly mask. I don't know why they don't like the fly mask. It keeps the flies off them. Anyway, it went from there to way worse. She says crazy things. out by saying things that other people at our barn were saying about us and then she often pretends to be somebody that is she, she changes her persona she changes her username all the time she uh, sometimes pretends to be a parent an enraged parent 
um, not wanting her children to watch us. Sometimes she pretends to be a child. Often she pretends to be a child. Sometimes she pretends um, to be a trainer. Sometimes she pretends like she pretends to be different people all the time and we are dealing with it we have reached out to get help with the issue she said in comments that we shouldn't be upset by her hate because when because when you put yourself out there on youtube then you are subject to what other people think and that's not true especially this girl uses extreme hate she doesn't just say things lies and stories about us she uses extreme hate she calls us names she she when i fell and broke my pelvis she was saying that the nurse at our barn told everybody that i was a fake that i was um pretending to have these injuries and that they don't hospitalize you for these injuries that i was a drain on society like she uses extreme 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 hate it's not just like somebody saying mean things or having a different opinion this girl literally goes out of her way to stalk us she has followed us home she i can't even go i can't even explain to you how extreme this girl goes to she is an extreme bully an extreme stalker we have tried ignoring deleting blocking explaining i actually approached her one time at our old barn and said you know this has got to stop we know it's you we we know it's her every single comment we're able to check and make sure that it's her we know it's her we know like why be kind to us in real life and then do that i don't know but anyway it goes against everything that I am bringing it to your attention because one, I believe that it's not going to go away until you just ignore it. But I'm, but also because it's really becoming an issue on Instagram. She is really drawing a lot of attention to herself. I woke up to a big, huge drama thread today where she was posting things and then deleting them. So she, she, she'll go in and she'll leave comments and then for people to see, and then she'll delete them so that I don't see them because she doesn't want me to tell people the things that she's saying, people in real life. And um, people screenshot them and send them to me. So I always see them. And, but I feel bad that you guys are defending us. Like when you see comments like that from her and you are, concerned don't feel like you have to defend us don't defend us just ignore her the reason that she she does this is because it gets her attention and she thrives on attention which is why another reason I don't want to make a, I hate making a video like this I don't mean to say that if you're being bullied that you should hide it or that you should just ignore it there are some situations where you need help dealing with things like this and that's when you do need to tell you do need to share your story you do need to find an adult you do need to you do need to keep on telling people until you do get help so i don't want to i don't want to mistakenly tell people to just ignore bullies because sometimes there are times when you do need help um, but in times like this with this girl, we all just need to ignore her and not shed light on who she is and what she's saying because she just wants attention and this is not the kind of attention that I think we should be giving to her. I also want to say that I know that she has emotional problems. I know that she needs help and I know that inside she must be hurting a lot to have that much hate for a family that she hardly even knows, especially children. She has a lot of hate for Gabby and I just want to say that even though she does all this stuff that I don't hate her and I don't um, even dislike her she's beautiful has amazing things going for her I just want none of you guys to be sucked in or drawn in or feel like you have to defend us so anyway that is it that is our stalker story I should say the only reason she spread that story about Gabby was because one of her very first comments on our channel was after Sophie fell and she posted on there and saying that all the people at our barn were saying all these horrible things and so I posted back and said I'm going to talk to them and then when she found out I was going to talk to them she was like oh crap I need to go there and make sure that like you know people know where I was coming from so then she made up this story about Gabby making fun of her poor riding pants because she knew I was going to tell about what happened. So that was her defense. Um, so yeah, 
yeah. So enough, enough about the whole stocking situation. So somebody at the show was eating these chips called veggie chips and now my kids are addicted, are obsessed with them and we can't find them anywhere. All right, let's see. Veggie chips. Veggie sticks. I'll have to ask where they got them. Anyway, um, one of the things that I've noticed about eating healthy is that if I eat something that I love, like something that tastes so yummy to me and I love it, then I'm gonna overeat it. Like I always overeat the things that I love. So for me to not overeat, I have to only eat the things that I don't love. Like I never overeat fruit or veggies. Smart water, you want smart water? We like these things. Get me a cherry one. Uh, Ooh, me. I like the orange ones. Where are they? Yeah, they never had them. Alright, we are here. It is lunchtime already. And we are gonna head to the pool before we do anything, before we even eat, because it's scorching. Thankfully we have air conditioning here though. Let's go girls! That's one difference between boys and girls. Literally, when I had the boys, they would be in their bathing suits in five seconds flat. Girls take forever. Five hours later. We're all just chilling, waiting for Gabby, waiting for Gabby. I think I'm a couple years older now. Yeah, a couple years older now. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash gun. So I cool down Won't you come on over We can party till the sun's down Baby let me buy you a drink While we're dancing to blink I could go for some queen bait too Bass is going boom boom Baby, if you're looking for some crazy I'll tell you everybody's standing in a line For the water slide Alright, so we are on the look out for veggie sticks chips. The girls had them at camp and are in love with them. Alright. Takis, where are they? I found them! Alright, so let's show them. Oh my gosh, Sophie, how many do you think we need? Veggie chips, sea salt flavor, or what flavor did you guys try? Did you guys try this guy? I'm not sure what kind. What we kind are those? this veggie sticks see all right let's try them they maybe it says good health all right so let's get two bags <laughs> no i think we should get two of these and two. all right let's do it Put them away. the no, girls no. have been looking for these all day like the entire day no, we each carry one of these. all right there we go are we ready Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.